Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a little bit different. You all know how much I truly love Walmart and a lot of the brands that they have come out with in the last few years. However, there is a brand called Sea Wonder. And from time to time, I've picked up a few pieces to try them out or seen them in store or whatnot. Um, but there's a few things that always bother me about them. And this bag is case in point. So I thought I would just do a quick overview of one piece that seems to be very popular this season um, and just tell you why I take issue with it. So this brand is called Sea Wonder and I believe it was formally started by, I believe, J. Christopher Birch, who is now the ex-husband of Tori Birch, which would make sense that there is a lot of good design in this style. But as I have looked again, I think that it is now associated with Christian Siriano, who has also done a lot of higher and lower end brands and used to make quite a few pieces for the Payless company that sold um, more on the lower end of shoes and handbags, which were very cute, but you were definitely getting what you paid for with the price point. So in comes Sea Wonder. You can purchase it now at Walmart. And this little bag at first glance is absolutely adorable adorable and looks like the perfect little crossbody or handbag for the spring and summer. Comes in three different color options, um, including one with a lot of black in it, and it does have this really beautiful kind of natural uh, fabric that, you know, really adds texture. So I was excited. I had seen other influencers talking about this bag, and I placed an order for it. The first thing that surprised me was the price. Full price, they were asking $58 for this handbag at Walmart. Now I did not pay that, it is currently on sale for $24 and that is what I paid. So that's, you know, fairly reasonable $24. You're gonna find that at a lot of stores that um, are at the same price point of Target and Walmart like that. So my first issue with the bag is the logo, to be honest with you. There's something about this logo that looks like they didn't pay enough attention to. It. it is very thin, it is uh, oddly shaped, and um, it quite frankly looks cheap. I don't know how else to put it. I don't know. I'm, this is just a personal taste, by the way, just to let you all know. If you have this bag and you love it, then please just ignore me at the moment. But I just wanted to go through it. Um, the, the Just something about the logo, it just throws me off, okay? And then the color of the gold. So the color of the gold definitely tells me that it is not brass and it's just an off shade, even for a gold shade. Now, at first glance with the purse, it's really honestly cute, perfect size, perfectly designed to be honest with you and this is why I wanted to love it. It has a back opening that has a snap so it easily would feel, fit anything you need including a giant phone. So I thought oh that's lovely I can throw my phone in there still snap it shut and it won't fall out. It has this over closure which is great so people can't slip their hands in it. It's neutral gonna match everything. Okay so I pop it open Again, it's great. It really is a good bag. It has so many good options. It has a little slit here as well. So again, you could even slide part of a smaller phone in here or other accessories. Nice zippered pocket. It's well finished out. But again, we're looking at the logo again and it's just stamped in there that says Sea Wonder. And there's just something about it that I just don't appreciate. Now, it does have a similar pattern inside. I do like it, it's light, it's a little um, shiny, and it looks like it could be semi-wipeable. Uh, it may not be, but it looks like it could be. Lots of great finishing on it. Uh, it does have a chain that is removable, and they did think it through. The chain does have a faux leather strap that's a little bit padded, and um, even though the length is not adjustable, it's a pretty good length. So let me put it on for you. All right, here we go. Really, actually a pretty good length, especially if you're on the taller side. Fits well, hits well, and then you can remove it, and you could have a, you know, like a folding clutch to carry for like maybe a, you know, semi-casual event. But here's where we start to run into more issues. When you do remove these little straps, which again, I do appreciate, great design, the little hooks, the little uh, rings, don't really go fully into the bag. So you kind of always feel like 
your bag is like missing something, if that makes any sense, and um, they kind of can pop out fairly easily. So that's not my absolute favorite. I wish they would tuck in all the way, maybe if I wrestled with it, but it really doesn't feel like it would. So I do feel like something's missing, or it doesn't, you know, even if you just tucked it in quickly, you'd still see that. Now again, not a huge deal breaker, but it's a detail I don't appreciate. Then we run into my true issue here, is the finishing of the thing. Do you see the white? Can you see that? So really this is a maybe manufacturing issue more so than a design issue. But I do, I'm a huge advocate for quality control and um, even if I get something on sale, I'm still looking for small details like this. And I don't like this one. This one is, they, basically what happened was when the entire bag was sewn together, uh, they started to do a good job and it was finished out and it even feels like it has a little bit of that um, painting that they put on to finish out edges, leather or faux leather. But then it just sort of got wonky, got all off, and they didn't bother ch changing that out, fixing it, or even doing any proper underpainting there. And so if you move, you can see there is some fabric that is sewn in between the layers and it's literally sticking out. So that bothers me personally, and that is on a piece of the purse that sticks out, that you know is on the outer part of it. I may even have been able to overlook that if it was tucked in somewhere or on the inside of the purse, but it's not. It's right on the front, and I can see it, and every time I flap open my purse, I can see the white, and it really, really bugs me. Um, so for the price point, at full price, $58. I'm not a fan. I think for $58, I could go to TJ Maxx. I could go to Nordstrom Rack. I could even go to a store like Macy's and look at what they have on sale. And I think I could get a lot more bang for my buck and a little higher quality of a piece. Um, and the gold, I think, um, really throws it off for me. It feels very, very plasticky. Feels like it would um, actually tarnish or chip off fairly quickly. So, you know, I just wanted to share this. I know it's kind of a long video for one purse, but um, you know, when people say things are so, so great online, I just would like to offer a little bit of perspective sometimes. And um, again, for a $58 price point, that's a lot guys. That's a lot of money to spend on a very um, not well manufactured handbag. So I give it an A plus for design. I just think with some of the choices of materials and for the lack of finish through when they were actually manufacturing it, definitely not worth it. So proceed with caution when you do purchase some of these items. That is it for me for this single item review. I hope this was helpful to you. And please, like I always say, take it with a grain of salt. You know, my personal choices and personal opinions are just that. And I'm just here to offer um, what I notice and some of the things that I find when I am doing many, many days of shopping and online shopping to bring neat items to you. All right, let me know in the comments below, have you purchased this brand before from Walmart? Do you think it's worth the price point? Point, and have you actually been able to utilize the products and have they held up well for you? I think that would help a lot of us in the community tabs. All right, thanks so much for watching and until next time, I'll see you soon.